Hey, BlackBerry traders and investors, it's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth for a late update for January 25th. And in this video, we're going to discuss BlackBerry and some news that just came out. So again, if you are not aware, I broke my hand. So I'm a little limited to what I can do, but I still want to do a quick video here. We'll do some analysis and we'll look at this article in detail. So BlackBerry expands partnership with Baidu, China's Baidu to power next generation autonomous driving technology. So if you recall back in 2018, about three years ago, they signed an agreement and this is basically an expansion of that. So BlackBerry today announced an expansion of its strategic partnership with Baidu, whose high definition maps will run on QNX Neutrino real-time operating system RTOS and will be mass produced in the forthcoming GAC new energy Aeon models from the EV and GAC group. The milestones build on the company's January 2018 agreement to make BlackBerry QNX's industry leading ISO 26262 ASIL D certified operating system, the foundation for Baidu's Apollo autonomous driving open platform. So you can read that in its entirety on your own time, but essentially some positive news for BlackBerry. This comes off the back of an Amazon partnership and also some speculation of possible Neo and Tesla rooming, uh, rumors floating around saying that they could be the potential partner and another potential partner, if not already in talks of a potential deal. So we can see we are up, we closed at 1803 and we are up, we were over $20 in after hours. So we are very, very strong and we closed after hours at 1912. So we are likely due for a gap up tomorrow, but just taking extended hours off here. And I'm not sure what's going on there. It looks like I'm froze. I'll just reload that real quick. There we go. It's taking extended hours off. We were in a five minute downtrend to end the day, but essentially, if you're not already in this stock, I would be careful. We did have a huge gap up today and euphoria is in the air. If you didn't get it back here around the $6 area when I highlighted it, I did a few videos in the past. So I know back here off of this Amazon hype and partnership news, I said to be watching $10 psychological. We hit $9.69 and I reiterated time and time again that we could potentially see a significant pullback upwards of 20, 30%. We pulled back over 30% from that high and we knew to be scouting weekly higher lows. And in that video, you can go to my channel, I was highlighting the fact that we could potentially see a higher low forming on EMA 12 on the weekly and we needed a daily trend change to confirm that, but we are in a weekly uptrend now with the break of 969. Bulls are in full short-term control and long-term control right now. BlackBerry making the shift to a software company and obviously investors are reaping the rewards. So again, when we broke to the low here at 652, we had the low high of 779. We set a higher low here at 740. And when we broke 779, that was the trend change back in favor of the bulls. So we confirmed an uptrend. If you would have entered at that nine or that 779 break on the confirmation of a daily trend change, you would now be up over 100% from that entry. Just on, even if you were just a patient bull waiting for a daily trend change, you would have seen huge, huge gains just from that safe play as a patient bull. And it, maybe you are, maybe you were aggressive and you were scaling in on that weakness down here to look for that weekly higher low and potentially bottom fish that. So again, we had the daily trend change, then we pulled back here briefly. We had a daily bull flag and seeing that daily bull flag follow through in a huge way. So once again, congrats to the bulls. We'll need to lose the hourly uptrend going into tomorrow and the rest of the week to see daily consolidation and to see this daily move top out. But you can see here with extended hours on, 
Sorry, we had 21, we had 2083 today during the day was the high and we closed, we were at 2040 after hours. So 2083 was the high of the day today. And we essentially got within 40 cents, 43 cents within that high and we're starting to pull back. So again, if we lose the hourly uptrend tomorrow, then that's going to be a signal that daily consolidation is likely coming and the daily move is finished for now. But EMA 12 also holding on the hourly, so that will be notable if we lose that going into tomorrow. Taking a look at the weekly chart, you can see here we are going parabolic. The stochastic MACD are extremely bullish and the 10 week moving average is curling, going vertical at 929. So keep in mind, we could see a 50% drop here and still be in a daily uptrend. So just remain extremely cautious. We haven't formed a weekly high or low since down here at 651, which is a long ways away. If we take a look at the moving averages, you can see we're well above the 50, 100, and the 200 weekly moving average. And the 200 weekly moving average is all the way down at $8.30. On the daily, so we, again, we had that daily bull flag confirmed. The MACD is absolutely blasting off into space at the moment. And we're well above the 50, 100, and the 200 day moving average. So again, just keep in mind, we don't have any daily support down here until 12.01. And that's a long ways away in itself. So again, just make sure you have a plan, set a stop loss. And also wanted to highlight the fact that when we were looking for that weekly consolidation, that weekly high or low, and then we had that daily trend change here, we bounced right off of the VWAP. And that was an absolute monster signal. And again, this is, this is a stock that I've been calling out for a while now. And there's a lot going on in the markets. There's a lot of euphoria with GameStop and a plethora of other stocks. So it's easy to get lost in this. And a way that we help with that is by joining a community. So if you haven't already joined a community, check out pursuitofwealthgroup.com or powgroup.ca and check us out. We have a one week free trial, no credit card required. And basically that's all we do is trade stocks. It's a stock trading community and we share ideas and setups going into the day and the week ahead. So thanks again for joining us on the pursuit of wealth and we'll see you tomorrow for another daily market recap after market close. Take care everyone and have a great one.